Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, again, uh, many people uh, do ask me questions. Uh, some people ask me that they want to do a specific program and you know how that program is here. Is it good to take that program? And there's this other group of people who actually ask me what program I can take. You know, what, what can I study? Uh, what is good here? Like they don't have a clear idea of what to study or what to learn. So they just uh, openly asked me like what I can learn or something, you know. So I just wanted to make this video for those people. This is uh, pretty specific. It's not like a generalized video because I cannot talk in a generalized way regarding this. I can only talk what I have done, what I've gone through after coming here. In that way, I just wanted to talk about the program I did, the visual effects program, how to get into that program and how's the scope and is it good to take that and all those things. If you are interested or if you don't have any interest or if you want to learn about this uh, then you can watch this video it's about it's all about this program so before that please do like share comment on the video subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon so you get updates when I post my videos so let's not wait we'll go to the video so the program which I did was the visual effects for film and television I did it in Seneca but I did apply for five colleges when I was applying from India so I did apply to Seneca, Sheridan, Humber, uh, Durham and Fonsha. I did get offers from all, all of these five colleges but I chose Seneca because from there uh, I did some research on my own like online. There was basically more information on the program for Seneca uh, than the other colleges. I was able to talk to alumni and the coordinator and you know it's just basically more organized so I did like uh, the way they kept it so I wanted to go for Seneca and which was a good choice because Seneca is really good for VFX. There's another college called Sheridan. Uh, people do VFX there but it, it's better for animation. If you want to learn animation you can go to Sheridan and there are like other colleges too. I'll put all of these colleges in the description. This program in most of these colleges are it's a one year program and uh, it is a postgraduate certificate meaning that you need to have a bachelor's if you want to do this. I don't think they have any diploma programs on this. There is a two year program on one of these colleges but I'm not sure if it's a graduate certificate or a diploma. Usually two year programs are diploma so I think it should be a diploma program. But in my opinion I think uh, a one year program is more than enough for VFX. Uh, you, you, it is a bit fast but you do learn things quickly and you can start working just after like eight months. So uh, the application process is pretty simple. You can basically go to any consultancy and tell them to apply uh, on behalf of you. Or uh, in my case, I just applied on my own because uh, Seneca wasn't a partner uh, with the consultancy uh, who I went with. So uh, I had to do it on my own. I did it from home, but it's basically you need to have an IELTS score before you apply. And uh, one other major thing for VFX or any kind of art program you're coming, uh, you need to have a portfolio which is a demo reel in VFX so basically you need to have a video of maybe like one to two minutes showing your previous work this might sound huge because if you're new to VFX you are obviously you won't have anything to show it's not just VFX uh, you can show any related kind of experience you had before it can be you know any Photoshop related work good amount of work we do in Photoshop even in VFX so Photoshop does help for VFX too. You can, you could have done some you know uh, some illustrations or you know you're good in you're good with painting and drawing and stuff you know you can even show that. Basically you need to show any kind of related experience it, it doesn't have to be completely VFX you know the selection process is completely based on the coordinator. I used to do VFX like I learned VFX from YouTube and you know I, I also went for a program in, in Chennai. Uh, I was doing a six month program in one of the institutes we have in Chennai there like the animation institute so from that and also from YouTube I started learning uh, After Effects on my own so I did have some stuff to show and I basically did a big breakdown of that and I did do some shots for this demo reel specifically uh, because just to you know get into the college so and I also had some work which I did for short films when we were in university so I just compiled all those things and I uh, and I submitted it. First main thing for this program is a demo reel. Without that, you cannot actually get into this program. I'll also attach the uh, demo reel which I did when I applied. I'll attach that in the description. So you'll have an idea how to do it. 
you know how it should look so basically the program itself there are different departments inside visual effects if you take like the major stuff there are like five to six departments so uh you know you have modeling texturing animation effects compositing uh matte painting you know you have like six of these so these six are like major and there are other smaller stuff too basically in vfx like if you come to this if you join this program and start this program you will be learning everything it's always better to better to like choose one uh and then like move forward in that for example like me i i did choose effects in my first semester but then i moved to i decided i'll do compositing in the second semester because uh first semester is just uh, teaching you the basics of all these applications which we use in vfx that's going to be the first semester and second semester is an entirely uh to create a demo reel which you can use when you're applying for a job after that so it's better to always choose like which department you're going to go into before the start of your second semester it's only the only then you can create a concentrated demo reel i did compositing so i did a compositing demo reel just for compositing uh you don't have to do that when you're applying for the college you can just do basically vfx you know in general when you're finishing this program and when you're doing a demo reel you know for work when you're applying for a job it's better if it's targeting like one department because you're not gonna do all the work in vfx you know when you join a studio because studios are bigger they do have different departments and there are like five to ten people at least in each department so you cannot basically go there and be that one person who does everything you cannot do that basically there are like hundreds of shots so you cannot do all the work by yourself so you need to choose a department which you want to go in which you're interested in uh you can choose animation you can choose effects you can choose compositing so i chose compositing because i'm more interested in creating a look and uh, seeing that final image you know i'm more interested towards that but if you're more technical if you're interested in more technical and procedural stuff then you can you can get into like effects or animation because these are more procedural and more technical it gets too technical if i explain too much about this but i'll make another video about how these things differ inside vfx basically you you need to choose like any one department and you need to concentrate on that stuff so that you know for example if you're concentrating on compositing then you can apply for a compositor job uh what they're gonna basically see is like how good you are with nuke so nuke is a software which we use for compositing you need to concentrate more on nuke and less on the other uh applications like maya or whatever only if you do that it'd be easier for you to get into a job and it's also easier for the employer to choose you. I wanted to make this video about this VFX program because many people did ask me like, you know, uh, for example, I wanted to take like uh, mechanical engineering. Is it like good here? Basically, I cannot answer that to that question because I didn't learn mechanical engineering here. I, <laughs> I never learned engineering in my life before. So uh, I cannot really answer for that. For people who did ask me like, is there any good program I can learn? And I can only recommend the vfx program because i have learned it i have i have studied that program and i know it's good so i don't want to give a generalized opinion that engineering is good or like medical is good here because i don't know just to give an idea for people who don't have any idea what they want to do you know just look it up you know there's so many videos about vfx in youtube just go through them see if you are interested just watch one or two videos if it creates interest in you then you can proceed with that because one important thing about vfx is it, this entire vfx in general it's a time consuming job you need to put in lot lots of time into this to work overtime is like a part of this industry it's really normal in this industry because let it be a tv show or a movie everything is based on deadline so there is always that uh, period of time where you need to work more to send out the shots basically it's just you need to you need to put more time into this uh to learn this i don't know that this is a time consuming job but on top of that i did have interest to do it and i just came into this you can obviously learn after effects from youtube which is what i did because nuke is not really available to everyone because it's really expensive to get a license or whatever comparing to after effects after effects license is generally cheaper so most of the freelancers they do use after effects because you cannot basically afford a new license now if you are asking about the scope of visual effects in general uh, i feel it's really good right now it has grown constantly from the time i came here like 5 years back the last 5 years like vfx has really grown we did have certain uh, drawbacks probably in the last 2 years because of all these uh, 
technical advancements and you know all these uh, implementation of artificial intelligence into everything that's kind of a general thing which is affecting all the industries which is affecting manpower in general because everything is getting automatic that kind of a thing we did kind of get into vfx too but it is there ai is there people are still uh, people are using ai right now uh, but it's just starting to come into vfx and uh, I think there's a good 10 to 15 years. AI can only do so much automatically, but the only issue with AI is like, it cannot be 100% perfect. Even if it does probably 70% or 75%, the remaining 30% you need manual work from a human being. So it is it is going up and you know, in general, like the structure of the entire film industry is changing right now. Shows coming into Netflix and all these OTT platforms. TV shows are demanding more VFX, like equal to movies right now. Like in Game of Thrones and whatever Marvel TV shows you see uh, recently, it's almost equal to movies. So obviously there's going to be more shows. You need more work, which in turn needs more people. Right now, VFX in general is demanding. Uh, any kind of department I would say compositing or whatever it is artists are in demand so I would say this is a really good time to actually learn VFX and get into this industry On, only important thing is like I have told this in all my videos only do this if you're interested just don't do it because you would get a lot of money or you'll have a security you know whatever uh, don't do for those things because if you don't like this job then you're gonna hate it really uh, only if you like this you can do it you can work more efficiently this is a creative work but it also has some technical stuff so technical stuff are always difficult sometimes the work is really repetitive and it has those things so in order to overcome those things you need to be interested in it or well, that's basically it so if you want to know more about this program i will post links in the description i'll also make a detailed uh, video about visual effects in general uh, if you have any questions please do comment below and also please do message me on instagram and please do like, share, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon so you get updates when I post more videos. So that's it for today. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Till then it's Manish. Bye bye.